Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, my darlings, and happy day, everybody. Good morning, my darlings. Good morning. How are we doing today? How are we doing? Happy Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. If you're new here, my name is Dante James, and I am vlogging every single day for a whole entire year, my sobriety journey. I gave up drinking. My sobriety date is March 1st of 2021, and I just celebrated six months on September 1st of 2021. So if you'd like to see my sobriety journey, hit like this video, hit the subscribe button, jump on the sober train with me, I'll click your ticket, and come join. I am vlogging every single day, the good days, the bad days, every single day for a whole entire year that is my goal and if you subscribe and like this video it gets the video out to other people that may be on their own sobriety journey that maybe i could help or make laugh or i don't know whatever welcome welcome and if you're not new here hey guys hey hey how are we doing how are we doing guys so guys today i'm in a little bit of a rush again i am so so sorry jb and i had a plan jb is cooking today so you guys will be getting a jb cooking video which i'm super excited about because wait till you guys see what he's making it's gonna be bomb y'all and i'm so excited for it so but before that we're gonna go up and we're gonna meet my aunt my uncle for lunch and my aunt gina called me she said do you guys want to go for lunch it's such a beautiful day where can we go sit outside and have some lunch so we're gonna go up and meet them and decide where to go for lunch but then when we come home jb is gonna cook i'm so excited for it it's a gorgeous day out it's not hot it's like perfect it's just so perfect quick outfit check i'm wearing that cardigan kind of thing what is this called I'm wearing it that I got from Target. I'm wearing my naked tank top, which I love this tank top. If I could find more, I would get it. It's kind of like a dark gray color. And then my silky, not linen pants, but linen pants. I'll have to do a fit check when we're leaving. Cause actually I waited to get dressed cause I said to JB, if we're going with my Aunt Gina, that I'm gonna be wearing a completely different outfit than it, I would wear if we were just staying at home. Vaccine update, vaxxed. Cause I'm a, I'm a sober vaxxed gal, just living in 2021, living my best life, so. Arm doesn't hurt anymore. Arm feels great. There's like a slight, slight annoyance, but it's not as bad as it has, it has been. So just a little update on that. We are so excited to go get our second dose. We just put it on our calendar today so we wouldn't forget. Um, but we just can't wait to go. We're excited. We're so, so excited. JB's arm feels the same. If you guys didn't see the vlog from the other day, we went and got Vax together and then we're going to go get our second dose together so that we're together when we do it. And yeah, we're just super excited. So no pain whatsoever. And one more thing, guys, I have to show you before I go. Look what JB surprised me with this morning. <laughs> Y'all, I am so excited. I wanted, this isn't the Betsy Johnson bag I wanted. It's not, but that, but that bag that I wanted that I showed you guys the other day, it's floating around TikTok with the skulls on it and everyone's talking about it and they're getting it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Ross and all those stores. It is completely gone. When we came home that day from when we were searching for it, there were some people selling it on Poshmark and there were some people selling it on like those, like Macari and all those kind of sites. And last night when I checked when we got home and we were watching our show, I looked again, all the black Betsy Johnson skull bags are gone. They only have the gray and the white, and I really wanted the black, but that's okay. I'm so happy with this one. I love it so, so much. And I know this is the one bag that I told you guys that I already have a bag just like it. It's kind of like an, a medicine bag, but I love it so much. It's like a faux snake skin with the green um, chain on it and the Betsy Johnson initials. It says BJ. And yeah, I'm just super excited about it. So I wanna show you guys, I'm not switching my bag today. I don't have time. So I'll be switching it out later and putting my stuff in here so I could use it, but it's the perfect bag for fall and winter. I am so excited for it. Oh, and also guys, today we have to pull our stuff out of our resin molds. So we have to do that at some point. I'm not sure when, um, but we have to do that. I'm super excited about that. So guys, let's go. I'm in a rush. I have to go. I love you guys. Mwah, see you in a little bit. Everything I said, why do we have to do you... There you go. <laughs> try one, Angie. You like pretzels. I know. But... Just try a little Just bite a of it. The everything seasoning on it's the best part. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I... Mm -hmm. I would like to decorate and then fill it. I, well, I like to just duck, decorate and fill in the spots. But I'm a big uh, honeycomb floral girl. No, I know you are. Oh my God, I'll go down there and buy 60 lemons. 
and that's hey guys we are at angina's now jb is helping my uncle from all the rain last week look at that pear tree right there so jb's gonna help my uncle fix it or salvage it or try to because my angina's late dog is buried under that pear tree so jb's gonna try to help my uncle salvage the pear tree and kind of like i don't know stop it from being knocked over and dead but look at these mushrooms by my aunt's tree look at these look at all of them they're so orange look at them wow so so orange all right y'all so we are home the pear tree was saved the pear tree gb held it up my uncle did what he needed to do and like tied it up or whatever so the pear tree is saved but now that we're home i have to come out and i have to i'm oh, sorry second i have clothes hanging out here i have to check on our resin art because i'm so excited i cannot wait to unwrap it and see what it looks like i don't know if i'm gonna do angela's because i'm gonna be giving her this stuff back i don't know if maybe i'll text her and see if she wants me to because i don't want to undo hers if like she wanted to do it i don't i don't know what the right thing to do is i'm gonna do angie's but angela's i might leave for her so let me do my stuff really quick first Okay, so this is the first thing I did. This has the mouse skull in it, which I messed up. But let's see. I think you're just supposed to be able to peel these out. I don't want to, like, break anything. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay, maybe I'll save that one. Let me try this one. This is the bowl I made with the extra resin I had. Oh, that came out so cute. I love that. It came out so pretty. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to put in there, but it's really, really cute. Do this, because Angela's stuff is all still here. I have to get it back to her at some point, but I have it in a box over here, so I'm just going to put the molds right back in the box. Get you guys in it. Okay, so I'm going to do JB's. Oh, JB's is so easy. It just pops right out. There's JB's. Oh, his is pretty. He put like a little piece of a mushroom in there. And then the money tree leaf and these little yellow guys. That is so cute. I can't wait to go in and give it to him. I'm going to do my little keychains. And these just pop right out too. And then with these like parts, uh, Ange said that you can just like file them down or I guess cut them. But there's my little heart with JB in it. Uh, this one was for... Ryder and Flynn, the two kitties, and I put gold in there. And then this one was Renly and Roxy, and I did do them right side up, guys. So Renly and Roxy, and I had to make those in like a little keychain. I'm really excited for that. Now let me try to get this guy out of there. See the skull in there? I don't know, it's really in there. <laughs> I broke it. I'm gonna have to buy her a new one. I was too rough on it. And the little thing, like these little things that you're able to put this thing through, it ripped off. I'm gonna have to buy her a new one. I'll just tell her. And this is the one. It didn't come out great. I had a completely different like vision for it. It just didn't come out great. I'm gonna have to buy her a new one. I'm gonna put this one to the side so I can go and buy her a new one of those. And then I'm gonna do Angie's for her. Let's see, Angie's. So, uh, this is Angelina's. So this is hers. Ooh. That came out pretty. Look how good she is at that. She did such a good job. She did, like, the flowers in each corner and then laid everything in a little piece of kale or whatever that is that we didn't know what it was. But hers came out so pretty. I love that. And then Angela. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, a bug did land in hers. We were talking about that. Look, a mosquito landed in it, and now it's just in there. Oh my god, that's so funny. We were talking about that that night. Oh, but look, my little ball. I could put my little charms in it until I make a keychain. That's so cute. All right, let me put this stuff away, and we'll go see what JB is doing. I'm going to go give him his resin thing. We'll see what he thinks about it. Hey, JB. Why, hello there. You're just laying there? I'm just waiting to see what 
But you, you want to... I have a surprise for you. You do now, do you? Oh! That's yours, I mean. Hey, cool. That turned out nice. Yeah, it did. Isn't that neat? Mm-hmm. How about a mosquito landed in Angela's? Yeah. It's, like, preserved in there now. Remember we were talking about that that night? Mm-hmm. And I accidentally broke one of her molds. I have to buy her a new one. Now we're on our walk, y'all, before JB starts cooking. Do you want to tell them what you're cooking? I didn't tell them yet, because I told them it was going to be a surprise. Oh, I'm going to make chili reno and tostadas. Since we didn't get to have it yesterday at El Rey Azteca, he's going to make, I can never say it right, chili rellenos and tostadas. Yeah, yeah chili relleno are their, um, uh, well, yeah, they're cheese stuff, uh, peppers that are... Yeah, they're very good. So when we get back to the house, we're going to have some coffee. And then JB's going to get cooking. So stay tuned if you want to know how to make those stuff. Those those, those things. Those stuffs. Ooh, Ron, oh, Renly's pulled in yeah. <laughs> Here's the pup. They lead the charge, y'all. We just follow them. They're in control. Especially Renly. He's small, but he has to be in front before Roxy. Like right now, he just got behind, he has to run ahead of her. Like he'll stop, look at something, but if he sees that Roxy's getting ahead of him, he has to go ahead of her. I don't know, I told you guys, he's an angel demon, baby. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. He's crazy. Oh, look at that. You see it? What is that? Is that a hawk? Yep. Yeah. There, oh no, that's, that's, a, that's a red tail hawk right there. That's a red tail hawk, y'all. There's another one. That's a black hawk right there. Black hawk down. Wow. All right, JB, so what are we doing over here to get started? So, uh, to start on the chili relleno, uh, I have poblano peppers here. And this is traditionally what is used uh, for that dish. So, first step, um, I have the oven on broil. I'm gonna pop these in, and um, my goal here is to blacken the skins i'm going to flip them over halfway and um black on both sides pull them out let them cool put them in a paper bag if i can find one pull them out then after they're cooled and peel all the skins off uh in preparation for stuffing them okay so we'll be back when, what when you pull them out of the oven yep okay so i pulled the peppers out from under the broiler and now put them in a paper bag and let them steam and while they're cooling to loosen the skin. So that's what the paper bag's for? Yep. You like put it in there and seal it and then it kind of like the skin will just fall off? It like, it loosens, it'll like all the steam will, it'll loosen the skin and I'll come back to it after a while and pull them out and skin them all down and get ready to stuff them. Okay. Anything else? That's it for now. Okay. So, uh, um, <laughs> throw together <laughs> the sauce. So I'm making a, a red sauce. I'm going to use um, a pretty simple um, onions and tomatoes from the uh, local farmer's market. And I'm going to use uh, chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. Chipotles are uh, smoked jalapeno peppers. Yeah, and it'll make a nice spicy, um, earthy red sauce. Uh, smoky, it'll be nice to, to have with the chili rellenos, or chili relleno, and uh, the um, tostadas. Olive oil in here, we'll saute up the onions and tomatoes, and this will cook down for a while, and then I'll, actually, what I'll do, uh, end up doing, at the end, once it's all cooked up, I'll use the immersion blender and make the nice smooth sauce to drizzle on. Adding a little salt. Yep. Just a little bit, get the onions a little bit tender, and then we'll add the tomatoes and the chipotles. Get it heated up, and then I'll turn the heat down and uh, let it simmer for a while. What? I don't know. A couple hours, hour, two hours. <laughs> <laughs> so now that the onions are, yeah, they're becoming translucent, I'll add the. Uh, Chipotle. Wow. Whew. 
Alright, yeah. Now. Ooh! Wow! Yeah, the smoked jalapenos. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, this will make for a very good sauce. And... I'll add the tomatoes in. Alright. And I'm gonna let this cook down for quite a while, so... A couple hours? Yeah. Okay. So, so we'll be back? Yes, we shall. Okay. Peppers have cooled. And I'm gonna start cleaning them and prepping them for stuffing. But you see the, uh, the skin just comes off so easily now. Wow, it does. Yeah, and that'll, with this skin off then, uh, the, uh, the batter that I put on it'll stick very easily then to the pepper. And I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna slit them up, make a slit in them, uh, take out uh, the, the seeds and um, yeah, prep them for put, uh, stuffing them with cheese. Okay, yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. I have the uh, peppers skinned and I put a slit in them and cleaned out the innards and they're ready to have the cheese put in. Now, typically um, when I can find their ingredient, like authentic ingredients, I'll use them. Um, when I've made this, made this in the past, I've used um, a cheese like Oaxaca. It's a, it's a Mexican kind of like melty cheese. I, I couldn't find it at the store today. Uh, so I, I'm using Monterey Jack, which I, I have used in the past as well. So it's it's a good substitute. So I'm going to um, take a piece of the Monterey Jack here. Slippery little suckers. Yeah. Now it's going to be, it looks a little loose right now. But when I uh, make up the egg batter... It'll it'll come together. I know it looks a, it looks a bit messy at the moment, but okay, JB, it looks fine. It'll come together. Yeah, so you get the gist of it, and uh, I'll show you when, once I get the egg batter mixed up. I'll show you what I'm doing there. Okay. Okay. Do you need me anymore? Not at the moment. Okay. So um, making up the egg batter. Uh, so I have uh, egg whites beaten up uh, pretty well. Uh, and egg yolks, I'm gonna add them into that. Now, take these. Just get some of the hot oil over the top so it seals it all up. What I'm gonna do is cook them all and then I'll drain them and then I'll have the put them in a warm oven to keep them warm while everything else is coming to fruition. Okay. So you drop half the batter, then you drop them in the oil. Mm -hmm. And then you just repeat that process with the rest of them over here. Yep. Yeah, so. And that's yeah. what they'll look like. Yeah. Okay. Right, so, um, yeah, I finished uh, frying up the relleno and. Wow. So I'm just gonna put, I have them on a tray. I'm gonna put them in the oven to keep warm while everything else is coming together. They look really good. Yeah. They mm -hmm. look delicious, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So now while the oil's still hot, I'm gonna um, fry up the uh, corn tortillas for the tostadas. Okay. And I'll have them ready to go. I definitely wanna see you do that. Okay, yeah, pretty simple. And these are for the tostadas. <laughs> and you just repeat this process for how many you want? Yep. Okay. Yeah, pretty simple. All right. All right. Anything else? Uh, not, not, yeah, not at the moment. All right. I'm gonna go take my 15. <laughs> 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 what are you doing now, JB? Oh, just, um, Browning up the beef for the tostadas. And what do you put in your beef? So garlic powder, cumin, chili powder, garlic powder. And onion, yep. 
and onion powder. Yeah. Okay. And then you're gonna start cutting up lettuce, tomato, mm, onion, onion, and I've got some avocados, refried beans. I have to blend up the pintos, cook, um, cook up some yellow rice. So I'm using the immersion blender and I'm gonna blend up the, the sauce. <laughs> Good, honey. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna that's gonna be very good. So we'll uh, start with the plating. So oh, they're all done. Yes. Okay. So what well, what do you have going on here? What's going on over here on the stove? I, yep. Oh. There's our peppers, ground beef, the rice. Okay. <laughs> over here we have all of our fixins. Now you're gonna put one together for us. Yep. Okay. Some beans. Yep. So I took a can of uh, pinto beans and um, used the immersion blender and uh, blended them up. It, it's they're it's nice that way. And they're better than just canned refried beans. Yeah, put a little meat. Oh, honey. Putting some cheese, okay. Onion. Some onion. Some lettuce. Lettuce. Tomato. Some avocado. Pepper and then your sauce. And one for life. Look at that, y'all. Oh my goodness. Now we're just missing the rice. Oh yeah. Well, what do you have there, Jimmy? Uh, crema Mexicana. Mm. It's essentially sour cream, but it's it's a um it's more of a liquid form. Wow. Okay. And if I don't know, would you like any of this sauce on your uh, tostada? Sure, a little bit. Mmm. You wanna hold it up and show it? Yeah, put a little rice in there. A little ricey rice, y'all. Let me see y'all, did JB? Yeah, that looks amazing, honey. Mm-hmm. It turned out nice. Cool. Look at that, guys. Oh my god, I'm gonna devour this. I'm gonna I'm gonna screw this up. Mmm. Mm. Okay, y'all, so we're in the living room. I have my plate here, and of course, before we start watching our movie, I need to try it with y'all, because I am so excited. Let's just try a little bit of this rice quick. Mmm. Mmm. I love that rice. Mmm. I asked JB if he wanted to try it with me on camera. He said no. So he's over on his, he's at his tray, digging in. All right, let's try, what is this, what is this? freaking pepper called the chili relleno chili rellenos so here it is guys with the cheese and the sauce mmm 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 look at that sauce yeah wow definitely has some heat to it mmm -hmm. but it's not that bad it's not like the cheese makes up for it you not mix up for it, but like it. Cuts through it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good, honey. That sauce is amazing. Good. All right, let me try. Should I just lift this and bite it? Cover you. All uh, right. I don't know if I lift it and bite it, y'all. I'm going to have to use my fork. When the restaurant is closed, bring the restaurant to you. <laughs> Ooh, yummy. Ooh, yeah. Mmm, 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 fabulous, honey. Mm. Compliments to the chef. Mmm, y'all, JB has many fabulous recipes and makes many fabulous dishes. Like every Sunday, he makes something. Yesterday, he wasn't able to make anything, but if there is definitely a recipe for you guys to try, it's this one. I'm telling you. Mmm, like, I am so excited. Amazing, amazing. Honey, five stars. Awesome. Five stars. And your videographer today was pretty hot. Spot on. Ooh, yeah. He said spot on. Um, so now, guys, we're going to go watch Cruella. It just got released on Disney Plus on August 31st, and I've been dying to see it. So we're going to watch Cruella. Cruella, let you guys know how it is. I'm going to go stuff my face. So I will see. I would love to eat this with y'all, but I don't know how animalistic I'm going to get. So... I'll see you a little later, okay? You're right, bud. It's the end of the night.
Um, so it is the end of the night, y'all, and we are going to try a snack from my little angel, Brynn. She, she sent me some of her favorite snacks, if you guys didn't see that vlog. And most of these snacks in here I've never tried. I tried the chocolate rice krispies the other day, and it was so, so delicious. And after JB's dinner, I need something sweet. And why not have uh, my little angels, I try a little, one of my little angel snacks. How's that? Um, so I'm going to try the Rice Krispies with M&M's in it. I'm super excited for that. Also, guys, we didn't get to watch Cruella. We, when we went to go put it on, we realized that it was two and a half hours long or two hours and 17 minutes. So we're going to save that for another night. We saved it for another night. We watched instead a couple episodes of the TV show The Mick with um, Caitlin Olsen from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Such a funny show. If you've never seen it, hilarious. So, so funny. Um, so we watched a couple episodes of that, and then JB went to bed. I'm all caught up on editing. It's only 8.30. What a major win. Uh, um, so we didn't get to watch Cruella, but that's fine. But let's get to a question. One thing I did want to read here, that and it's a comment from Annabelle TV. Annabelle TV is also a fellow creator here. I love Annabelle. Her link will be down below. If you have time, please go check Annabelle out. Um, but she, I, I screenshotted this comment when I was going, when I was getting caught up with comments the other day, and I really, really liked what she said here. So I just wanted to read it to you guys quick. Annabelle said, "History is in the past. There is nothing you can do about it. That's why it's a story. The future is not written yet. The only thing we have is the here and now. That is why we call it the present. And if we all grew up to be what we wanted to be when we were kids, then the world would be filled with cowboys in." Indians and ballerinas and princesses. Your bumps in life made the Dante we all love. Thank you, Annabelle. I love you too. I really, really do. And I, I screenshot that because I read it because I do read your guys' comments. I might not always reply or have the time to reply, but I do read them. And I read that one and I just loved it so much. So I had to share it with you guys. This next question I have in the queue is for GB. So I'm going to save that one for him. And then this is the next one. Um, if you guys don't know this, I haven't told you guys, I answer questions at the end of my vlogs, sometimes, not every single night, but sometimes, and you can leave them down below in my comments, you can leave them in or next to a cupcake emoji, or in or next to a heart with stars emoji, I write them down, I, or I don't write them down now, I've been screenshotting them, I haven't been writing them down, and I answer them at the end of my vlogs, you can ask me anything regarding my life or sobriety, and you may ask JB anything as long as he's comfortable answering it. So there you go, so let's tr bite into this and answer our question. This question is from Judy, and she said, you are, I have a question, lol, you are hilarious, have you ever considered stand-up comedy? Discuss, lol. Well, Judy, try, ooh, and there's m Nems actually like in it, in it. I, I don't know what I was thinking it was gonna be, but I'm excited. Mmm. Mmm. That's nice. That's nice. Mmm. I love it. It's a Rice Krispie treat with like a surprise of chocolate. Like whenever you take a bite, it's like, ooh, there's a little chocolate. And it's like Rice Krispie, Rice Krispie, Rice Krispie. Ooh, a little chocolate. I love that. Thank you, Bryn. Please thank you, first of all, so much for that comment. Thank you so much for telling me I'm hilarious. I try to make you laugh. Nothing makes me more happier than making people laugh. I think it's, it warms my heart. And I'd rather, especially in this crazy world, I'd rather be a goofball and make a ass out of myself and do all that just to make people laugh because laughter is the best medicine and in this crazy world we live in we could all use a good laugh um so it's my favorite thing in the whole entire world to do as far as stand-up comedy i admire stand-up comedians because i think it's a harder job than a lot of people think you travel a lot um it takes i mean there's people that have been comedians for years that have never gotten the break i love stand-up comedy but it's almost like, like I love cooking, but I don't think I'd ever be a chef. Somewhat comfortable on stage, but I'm not. And actually Ginger said this when she came to visit me. Um, I am somewhat reserved and shy um, in person, somewhat. When I'm in front of my camera, I'm vlogging or I'm filming, I'm, I'm, I'm very comfortable with it. But otherwise, like off camera, I am very, I don't even want to say shy, like I'm so shy. I'm just very, I don't know how to explain it. But a stand-up comedian, like I've, I have considered it in the past and just as a passing thought. But no, I mean, I, I have considered it, but it wouldn't be for me. I like making people laugh with 
I don't know. And who knows? Maybe I'd be great at it. I just don't know. Standing up on a stage and bombing is like would probably be like a huge fear of mine, which I know every comedian has to go through and it just happens. Not every joke lands and all of that. But I more admire it from afar. Stand up comedian like stand up um um stand up comedy. I, I admire them from afar, I respect them, I think it's a very hard job. Um, and um, I just don't know if I would have the cojones to do that. So, that's a pretty simple answer to that, Judy. Um, have I considered it yes, would I ever do it? No. <laughs> no, I won't. I mean, who knows, now that I'm sober, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. When I was drunk, I've thought about it, probably. I mean, I'm sober, I don't know. Great question, though, Judy. I've never considered it as of as of late. I've never considered it. Um, I guess that would be one of those things that you just have to try. Like you'd have to like go to like an open mic night, try it, see how it goes. And just because it goes well once doesn't mean it's going to go well every time. But to go and try it would probably be something on my bucket list. I don't know what I would talk about or anything like that, but definitely on a bucket list of mine. I would definitely give it a shot. I don't know. I don't know, I have to figure out what I would talk about. But that's a great ju question, Judy. Thank you for asking it. Hey, guys, I completely forgot to tell you this when I was f filming this and answering this question. But my cousin, Teresa Westbrook, I can't believe I forgot to tell you guys this, is a comedian. She's hilarious. She's so, so funny. Me and her, when we were little, used to make movies together. Like, she is, like... I don't even know how to explain her. I really don't. But she does have a Twitter. She's on Instagram. She's pretty, pretty funny. I think she's on tour right now. She's touring, like, the bottom half of America. But she's pretty funny. And she's awesome. She's, like, one of the coolest people I know. And she's my cousin. So, uh, if you have Twitter or go check her out on any of her social media. She's hilarious. And you'll love her, too. Um, so, I just wanted to pop that in here. So, there you go. It runs in the family. No, it doesn't. But, you know. Maybe. <laughs> Guys, leave your questions down below. I'm a little behind on comments, but it's just been a busy weekend. I'm going to go through them at some point in the next couple days, and I'll screenshot your questions. I noticed my Auntie Ginger Snap has been asking questions left to right. I see them pop up and stuff. Um, and I love my Auntie Ginger, another fellow creator here. Her link will be down below. Go check her out if you have time. Um, and today was just a fun day, guys. I love when JB cooks. Love it. And I love that he made... One of my favorite meals, even though I've ever had it, ever had, I've only ever had it once at El Rey Azteca. So I love when he cooks. I hope you guys follow the recipe. I hope you guys try it out because it was so good. I mean, so good. I'm so full. I mean, even though I need something sweet though. And that red sauce he made, guys. Oh my God. Right, today was a fabulous day, guys. I'm going to go finish editing. I'm going to message Angelina. She's been messaging me, so I'm going to be messaging her back, probably talking to her for a while. And just relax the rest of the night. It was a long, it was a long weekend. Today was pretty chill, but otherwise it was a long weekend. I'm going to go hang out, talk to my girlfriend. Chill. And um, I love you guys. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for watching me on your phones and your homes or on your tablets. And I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, night. And I appreciate you guys being here and watching. And I just love you. It's like I always say, I don't know what I would do without YouTube. I don't know what I would do without YouTube. Um, but I love you guys so, so much. So I'll see you tomorrow. Until the next one. You. Bye-bye. <laughs>